Okay. Hi, I'm Jenna Reimler. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I am an English major with a concentration in literary studies, looking to pick up a second major in either econ or PR and advertising. That is to be determined. Um, I am involved on dance team and I am a sister in Chi Omega sorority. I enjoy exploring coffee shops in Chicago and reading in my Hi, I'm Alexandra Busnitz. Um, I grew up in Northern Virginia, so right outside of DC. I've danced my entire life, and along with dancing, I kind of did a lot of other creative aspects, so I did art throughout my entire high school and middle school career, so that's still a big part of my life now, um, and was in the past. Um, something else about myself. I like to be like really active in general, so I like to stay involved with um, different groups of people, but um, also really like physically I like to be active, so that's kind of why I've always chosen dance, because it's a creative way to be active. Moving I'm on. <laughs> and then hair. go to the arena. You can't forget your hair, you have to do your hair, you can't just do your face. It takes you an hour to do your face. <laughs> It takes me a while, okay? Okay, whatever. <laughs> and then I do my hair in like 30 minutes. Oh, I only do, I only take 10 minutes for my hair. <laughs> and then I do my makeup the last time. go to the Allstate Arena or just McGrath, depending on mm -hmm. if it's a men's or women's game. If it's a men's game, then we have to bus there, which probably takes like an hour, depending on traffic. A little less if no traffic. And then we have an hour about of uh, getting formations organized, running the dance a couple times, and then we're on for the game. So we sit on the sidelines the whole time, and then go out and do our featured routine. I also do like quarter breaks and things. Mm -hmm. My favorite is the chicken dance. Our game day is usually the entire day blocked off for like majority of the day. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. If it's, especially if it's a men's game, not so much if it's a woman's, then we yeah. have like half the day to ourselves, but the other half is game day. Um, it can be difficult sometimes, especially because um, chapter, it usually interferes with practice, so I either have to leave chapter or early or I can't go to chapter because dance is happening, but they're really... Um, Chi Omega um, prides themselves on like student involvement, like leadership roles and across campus. So they're very. Um, my sisters are very encouraging. They come to the games and like support me, um, but they're very understanding when I have conflicts um, because they understand that dance team is a com large commitment. I'm not just committing myself. I'm committing to like a whole team. Yeah, shout out to everybody for maintaining focus and taking criticism well. for me to have dance I even know it's a lot of big time commitment and I can't always like go to like things that my friends are going to or stay out late or I can't stay out one night and then because I have practice the next morning or I have practice that night etc but I just like having something that I can dedicate to and put such a commitment into and work so hard for so that's why I definitely think dance is worth what it exhausting mm -hmm. tiring a lot. <laughs> there's some weeks where there's like, you have a lot on your plate already, like just with school and like any social events that you're going to and anything like that. But then you add like the three practices that we have a week, plus some weeks we have like three games yeah. or more, which is not only exhausting physically, but it also takes up just a lot of your time, which you need for like homework or mm -hmm. studying or I have a test the next day, but I can't study for it because yeah. I have a game. I know I personally, I am more focused and able to get more stuff done when I have like a shorter time, when I have it, when I'm more, when I'm busier, because I'm like, okay, I have like an hour break here, I have to get this, this, and this done, so I don't spend as long, or I don't go home and watch like that Netflix show and things. Um, I personally live for my planner. I'm sure you've all seen it. It's beautiful. It's my <laughs> child. So is my calendar. I love my calendar. Um... So I just like write everything down. I have multiple, I'm a list maker. 
So I have so many lists of like things that like my homework I have to do. I have important due dates. I have my um like to dos like do dishes, call my mom, to do lists. I have so many to do lists. I'm kind of the same way, <laughs> minus the number of to-do lists. Dance kind of motivates me, because without it, yeah, again, I would just be like, okay, time for Netflix. It's not like, well, I'm going to get this done, because now I feel productive. So I'll go to dance, and then I'll do homework right after. Or I'll do homework first, and then my break will be dance. So I kind of use dance as like a stress reliever almost mm -hmm. sometimes. Definitely. Even though it does sometimes cause a lot of stress, it's also nice to like, get away from like all the educational mm -hmm. and like having to eat your thing. That's just so rewarding. Like just going out there and killing a routine. I always feel good. You're so oh. <laughs>